Hi, boys and girls. I'm back. It's Miss Harling. Today is Wednesday, uh, April 29th. I am still doing lesson 10.1, but I'm doing the next page. That would be page 563. It should say lesson one, and it should say chapter 10 at the bottom of the paper. And at the top, I'm doing this page that says share and show. Remember, our learning target was I can determine the time to the nearest minute. I can determine the time to the nearest minute. So we're gonna continue working on the clocks. Here's the next question for this page. It says, how would you use counting and the minute hand to find the time shown on this clock? Write the time. They're talking about this clock on the right-hand side of question number one. Here's the clock. We talked about this yesterday. You see that the shorthand is between the one and the two, and the long hand, which gives the minutes, is on the almost on the five. So we see here that, uh, again, the hour hand is between the one and the two. It is almost the two o'clock hour, but not quite. That's why the hand has moved slightly, but it's still in the one o'clock hour. As far as the minute hand, it's almost on the five. I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see it, and then my camera will adjust, I guess, a little bit so it's not so blurry. But it's almost on the five, but not quite. So again, the question was, how would you use counting and the minute hand to find the time shown on the clock? So as far as finding the time on the clock, again, I said, it is the one o'clock hour. Now we just need to find the exact minute here. So remember we talked yesterday, when you start at 12, you start with zero and count by fives until you get to the exact minute. So this would be uh, zero to one is five minutes. One to two is 10 minutes. Two to three is 15 minutes. Three to four is 20 minutes, sorry. And then if I go here, I stop about right there. So I'm not exactly at 25 minutes. So you can count the ticks. This would be 21, 22, 23, and this is 24. So right here would be 24. So what time is it? It's 124. So we're gonna write that because they wanna know what time it is. So go back to number one and please write 124. Okay, everybody see that? Now they want to know um, how did you figure that out? And we're going to write count by fives and ones. So we counted by fives and we counted by ones to find the minutes. So you can pause the video if you need to, if Ms. Harling's writing too fast. I wrote, it's 124, and we counted by fives and ones to find the minutes. Now, if I go down to number two, it says write the time on these clocks and then write one way you can read the time. So if I go to this first clock, let's see what time it is. It is almost three o'clock. That's why the shorthand, the hour hand, is almost touching the three, but it's not quite three o'clock yet. So if we count by fives, we can find out uh, how many minutes have gone by, but it is still the two o'clock hour. So starting at 12, starting with zero and counting by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and if I zoom in a little bit, it's a little past that, and that would be 56. So it is 2.56. And if I wanted to write that, because it says write it and read it, we read it as 2.56, I could also say it's four minutes before three, because don't you notice it's almost three o'clock, so in 
four minutes, it will be three o'clock. All right, look at number two. Again, we are going to write the time and then write one way to read it. Again, if I look at the shorthand that gives me the hour, it's a little past the six. It's not really that close to the seven, so it is still the six o'clock hour. So what I'll do here is write six. Now we gotta figure out the minutes. Again, if I start at 12 and start with zero and count by fives and then count to the exact minute, I will know how many minutes have gone by the six o'clock hour. So this is zero, five, 10, 15. And then if I zoom in, I'm gonna do 16, 17. So how many minutes have gone by? 17 minutes. So I'm gonna write that after my semicolon. And now another way to write that would be 17 minutes after six. Everybody see that? 17 minutes after six. Again, pause the video if you need to, if Ms. Harling is going too fast. Number four, this is easy. This is another way we can look at time. Instead of looking at an analog clock like we did on number three, we can look at a digital clock. We know what time it is, it's 1045. So we're gonna write 10, oopsie, 10, 40, Five, and then another way to write that would be in 15 minutes it will be what time 11 so 15 minutes before 11 that's just another way you could say it if someone asked you what time is it you could say 15 minutes before 11 or you could say it's 1045, they're both the same. Now let's go to on your own. What I'd like you to do right now is try five, six, and seven on your own, okay? And I'll give you a few minutes to do that, or I'm just gonna wait a few seconds and then I'm gonna show you the answers. Five, six, and seven. All right, boys and girls, here are the answers to five, six, and seven. Here's number five, we know it's 312. Our answer is 12 minutes after three. Number six, we know it's 1048. You're counting to the exact minute, okay? The minute hand is on one of the minutes. And another way to write that would be 12 minutes before 11. Number seven, the answer is 6.10, or you could have written 10 minutes after 6. So again, um, let me go back to that so you can write it down. Number 5, 3.12, 12, 12 minutes after 3. Number 6, what time is it? 10.48, 12 minutes before 11. Number 6, what time is it? 6.10, what can we write? 6.10 as a digital time and then 10 minutes after six, okay? Again, you could have paused the video to make sure you had those written in. Now I'm gonna go down to number eight, nine, 10, and 11, and here's what it says. Represent a problem, and it says, write the time another way. So here for number eight, it says 34 minutes after five. What time is that? 5.34. Number nine, it says 11 minutes uh, before six. Now these are hard if you don't have a clock in front of you to use to help you figure this out. So I'm just giving you the answers. I am gonna start using an actual clock online on YouTube to show you how to find the minutes. And I know some of you don't have your own clock, but I will do that with you. So we're just gonna say it's 549 because in 11 minutes, it will be six o'clock, okay? Number 10, it says 22 minutes after 11. Our answer is 11, 22. And then for number 11, it says five minutes before 12. So it's not 12 o'clock yet. So what would we write? We would write 1155. 
Okay, my friends, I'm going to show another video in a few minutes because I try to keep these videos um, to at least 10 minutes because I know it's hard to watch a video for like 25, 30 minutes and I'm definitely not going to do that. So I will post another 10 minute video for the next page and I'm going to go over the homework. Okay, and then I'll show you my new calendar that I'm making. So I'll see you in a little bit and I will show you the next page. Okay, bye bye.